I feel like I'm always eating in every video. Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. The lighting is, um, different. The scenery is different, but I can't film downstairs currently because my living room is a mess and my brother's double bass is taking up my entire filming space. So if you don't like it, you can complain to him. Um, but today I am doing my November favorites and I'm right now, before I forget, because I've forgotten every video so far, Vlogmas. Here's the deal. So I don't want to deal with it during finals, so I'll have my regular upload schedule during that time, blog videos on Wednesdays, blog posts on fr or Fridays, then as of December 22nd, Vlogmas will begin, so there'll be a vlog on the 22nd all the way to the 2nd. So it's like 12 days of Vlogmas, just not the right amount of time, like the not the normal, you know, anyway. So today we're doing our November, my November favorites video. Um, let's just start it off with the makeup. So the first makeup product that I have here is the Pharmacy Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is the best thing I've purchased in the last few months. I love this stuff so much. I'd heard so many good things about it, so I got it when Sephora was having a sale, which they've been doing a lot lately, and I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Um, but anyway, I picked this up and I live for this stuff. So basically what you do is you just take a little bit on your hands and you like massage it on your dry face and you can put it on your eyes as well and all the makeup comes off. If you want a demonstration, I will link the vlog where I use this in the cards, but um, it is way better for the environment than makeup wipes and really good for your skin. Um, so yeah, so you just... It melts away makeup and pollution residue, and it actually gets my my uh, waterproof mascara off, which is just the best thing ever. And yeah, and it's so much nicer for your skin than makeup wipes, and my skin definitely is feeling a difference. So I love this stuff, and I will be repurchasing it for the rest of my life. Okay, the next makeup favorite that I have is this Too Faced Hangover RX um, face primer. I feel like I'm late to the bandwagon on this, but I picked it up. I think at Sephora one time, and I love this stuff. I use this almost every single day. I rotate between this, I was using Tarte's Hydrating Primer, which you guys saw in a previous video, and I use the Glow um, Primer from Glam Glow. But this stuff is just so good for every day. It's really basic. It has coconut water, probiotic-based ingredients, and skin revivers, and it just feels so, like mattifying but not in like a super drying way and it just like sets down everything and it's so nice I want to try the peach one and also the spray one so let me know if you guys have tried those in the comments below because I need to know if that's a good idea for me um my last two makeup favorites are these two palettes um let's start with the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions I have talked about this palette before on my channel I think just in a haul video but um this is what it looks like on the inside, and it is such a beautiful palette, especially for the holidays. It's just the perfect purpley holiday goldy palette. I'm going to do a holiday get ready with me. It'll be a couple of videos from now with this palette and the new Jeffree Star liquid lipstick that I picked up. Um, but I wear this almost every single day. It's so beautiful. I love it. The glitters are a little bit loose. But I'll get into that in the uh, Get Ready With Me video, but definitely love this palette. And then this one is a new favorite of mine. I just picked it up uh, last Monday? Last Sunday? Last Monday? So it's not even been a week. But this is the Tartlet Toasted palette. And basically Sephora was had it on sale. So I went to Sephora and picked it up for Cyber Monday. So yeah, it was last Monday. I'm trying not to blind you guys with the mirror and I also my room's a mess so I'll just show it to you like this but this is the palette um it smells so good and I used to have I don't know if I ever talked about it on my channel but I used to have another tartlet palette and I loved it a lot don't know where it went but it was like a mini one but this one the colors are so pigmented the glitters are so beautiful and here's the thing so you all remember my tart video which I'll link above I was really, really, really disappointed in their eyeshadows, but this has brought me back to my Tarte Obsession. They're beautiful, they're on my eyes right now, there are so many different looks you can do, and I'm just in love with this palette. Okay, snack break. By the way, I'm eating my Haribo Gold Bears. 
Mm. Superstore had these on for two for two forty each if you bought two, so I got these and another time. Mm. So good. Uh, who's excited for Vlogmas? I'm like super excited to see everyone's vlogs. Um, I vlogged this whole last week and it's gonna go up soon, but I wanted to get this one up first. Okay. Clothing favorites. Let's do this. Okay. First thing are these gloves. They are from Garage. Um, I picked them up when I was there the week before Black Friday. They were on sale for winter things, but I would get one 50% off. So I picked these up. They're really warm on the inside, and I personally in the winter prefer... I don't know if these are gloves or mitt mittens. I think these are mittens, but like the closed fingered gloves. I also picked up a pair of like open fing like fingered gloves, but um, those are just... I got them for driving more because... Uh, my hands get really cold in the winter when I'm driving, but these are just super cute, and I love the colors that are in it, and super cozy. Next, speaking of cozy, I picked up these pajama pants from Simon's. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there are sloths on them. I don't know how well it's picking up, but I'll insert a photo. These are the comfiest, cutest pajama pants I've had for a very long time. They were on sale for Black Friday. I just love them so much. I love sloth things, um, as you can tell. And I also have a sloth, like, hot water bottle, but... Ugh, so excited. Love these. I love wearing them every night. I love putting them on. They're so comfy. Um, the last clothing favorite that I have... Well, I actually have another one, but we'll get to it. Is this black top. This is from Urban Outfitters. I also got this for Black Friday, sort of, early Black Friday. So, it's just this button-down, um, longer in the back top, long sleeve top. I really, really like this shirt. It is super flattering. They have, like, ten different colors. Um, the sleeves are kind of bat-wingy, um, if that makes any sense. And they, um, I really, what I really like is you can tie the bottom. So I normally wear the, it tied at the bottom. I think that there's probably a clip in my newest vlog coming out of me wearing it, but we'll see. Um, I really like it. It's cozy, and I would go back and buy every single color. So that must say something. Okay, um, TV and movie favorites for the month. Um, I... Just saw Rocket Ralph, uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet yesterday. It was super cute. I think you guys should all go see it. It's just a really fun, like, childhood movie about friendship, but there are some really good, like, jokes for not five-year-olds. So, I really liked it. Um, another, not so much movie, uh, TV. I've been watching Parks and Recreation again, which I really like, but that's no surprise. And I've been watching, um manifest with my dad and uh it's this show i think they probably have it in the u.s um i think it's on ctv but basically it's this show about these people who are on this plane and they go through some turbulence and then when they land in new york they find out that they've been missing for five years but they haven't changed at all but all of their family has changed super interesting the cliffhangers come rapidly it's just such a good movie so i've definitely would recommend that. Oh my god, I forgot the clothing favorite. Okay. So the last clothing favorite I don't have on me right now. It is um, a plaid fleecy shirt from Hollister. I'll insert a picture. It's really dirty because I wore it to the movies yesterday and spilled uh, poutine all over it. But it is the softest thing and I would again go back and buy every single one they have at Hollister. Um, I will link it down below. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, back to this. Um, yeah, so, I really like that show, um, and I need to finish it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think there's anything else that way. I've been watching a lot of YouTube. Um, new YouTubers I really like that I have been watching. Who have I been watching? Uh, I've been watching a ton of these compilations that are like the best of Shane Dawson and friends and the best of Garrett Watts because I love Garrett so much. Um, hmm, let's see. 
I recently followed a bunch of small YouTubers, so you should check out, um, I don't know if you can see my subscriptions, but if you can, you should all go check all of them out. Um, recently, I like Beth LaCroix, I was watching one of her videos, just been watching a ton of Danielle Carolyn. Um, oh, Lipsticks and Lattes I just started watching, um, Brianna Matthews, yeah, some of the one, new ones I've been watching, Brianna Matthews, uh, or is that her name? Yeah, um, Tatiana Baldwin, but again, uh, there's a whole bunch of new ones that I've just started following, all little YouTubers like me, and it's so nice, it's just a really nice community. Um, I'll link a couple of their channels down below. Um, I wrote a whole book review of the one book I read in November, which was, um, Beautiful Boy, and I can't talk about it because it's just so, like, you just have to go read the blog post. Again, link down below, but just brace, if you're gonna read it, you have to be in the right mood. And I just bought, um, I think it's called Tweak, which is the son's account of the same story, and I haven't brought myself to read that yet. Right now I'm reading To All the Boys I Loved Before, and it's making me want to rewatch the movie for, like, the fifth time. Ugh. I love Peter Kavinsky so much. Okay, let's get into the best part of my favorite videos, the music. So, we won't get into any Christmas stuff yet. I know, I'm trying to use my patience. We'll go through my November playlist, and then I'm going to see um, if I have any other albums to discuss. Okay, first of all, it can't be a playlist from November without this song. listening to this on repeat and the new music video is so amazing I can't even describe it out it it's just made childhood me so happy um next up okay so Imagine Dragons released a new album and I'm in love um I added a few songs on here but really the best song is Boomerang the whole album though check it out love that song um a couple other ones from there that i've been liking um well zero is from the new wreck it ralph so that's been loving that song okay let's do something not from there um okay hosier released a new song movement oh, i'm in love it makes me want to go back and listen to a bunch of his stuff because i didn't listen to any of his stuff when take me to church came out like i listened to that that's basically it um What else? Okay, um, the Chainsmokers released a new song called Beach House. I'm a huge Chainsmokers fan, like, I'm not gonna lie. Um, love that. Okay, we'll do one more from this playlist. Um, I knew you won. Mariana's Trench. I'm a sucker for anything new Mariana's Trench. Anything Mariana's Trench, really. So 
I've been loving that. Okay, what else have I been listening to? Um, yeah, okay, new albums um, that I have not added to my playlist. Um, so they released A Greatest Showman Reimagined, and somehow, like, it's just as good as the original. Um, a couple of the songs on there that are really good, um, The Other Side, Max and Ty Dolla Sign, Never Enough, Kelly Clarkson, This Is Me, Kella Settle or Kela Settle, Kesha and Missy Elliott. From now on, Zach Brown Band. That one surprised me. Um, and of course, Greatest Show, P Panic at the Disco. A little bit of it for you. It's just so Panic at the Disco. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. You've been searching in the dark, sweat soaking through the floor. Buried in your bones, there's an ache that you can't ignore Taking your breath, still in your mind And all that was real is left behind it's I just, like, anything Greatest Showman If you know me, you know that Greatest Showman is my favorite thing to basically ever be created Um Little sneak peek at what's coming next month, perhaps Um, this song I've been listening to it for, like, a few days now Because I've been listening to Christmas music for a while but, um, Aloe Black, Spotify singles, El Burrito Sabanero. I used to sing this song when I was in elementary school for our Christmas concerts. And it starts out very normal. But then... Anyway, I'm a nerd. What else is new? Um, that's all. Uh, but as always, my Spotify is linked down below. I've got a few Christmas playlists on the go. I love Christmas music so much. Like, my friends are starting to get sick of me already, and it's only December 2nd when I'm filming this, so good luck to them. But, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope the lighting and new background and stuff wasn't too bad. I'm really working on getting some lights and a new place to film and all this stuff, but it's just getting too dark to film with natural lighting too early. So, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you next week. Bye.